The vitriol being unleashed against Sarah Huckabee Sanders is stunning and sad. The White House press secretary and her family were kicked out of a Virginia restaurant called the Red Hen yesterday for moral reasons, because she works for President Trump. And she politely left, tweeting that the owner's actions say far more about her than about me. I always do my best to treat people with respect, including those I disagree with. And the reaction by some Trump-bashing pundits? Yeah, right, she deserved it. Here's CNN's Ana Navarro. You'll make choices in life, and there is a cost to being an accomplice to this cruel, deceitful administration. Wow. MSNBC contributor Jennifer Rubin in The Washington Post. It's both natural and appropriate for decent human beings to shame and shun the practitioners of the administration's family separation policy. Salon's Amanda Marcotte went further, saying Sarah's kids should be taken away. Taken away. Nice. Now, you just know that if Barack Obama's spokesman had been booted from a restaurant, many of these same people would go crazy, saying the owners are a bunch of racist yahoos. They are blinded by what I call Trump trauma. There's a tragic history in America of some people being refused service at lunch counters. So what's next? Is it okay to picket people's houses? That happened on Friday with uh, Kirsten Nielsen's uh, townhouse in Virginia. Shun their kids at school? Should Amazon refuse to deliver them packages? This is sheer tribalism. It's fueled by hatred, and it's painful to see at least some pundits defend it.